landing ship! We've been boarded! <laughs> Damn things off my ship! Oh, well Fantastic up. work! a bit of treasure in that chest over there. The weapon you find inside may help with our little imp problem. Summon these imps to serve as my crew. I forgot what a handful they could be. Once aboard, they wouldn't listen to their captain. They ran amok in the bowels of the ship. Pirate voice would that be? Wow. Zinyak's destruction of Earth had a profound impact on the afterlife. To heaven, it was a logistical nightmare. Saint Peter's meticulous nature drove purgatory wait times to unbearable levels. Meanwhile, in hell, where souls in pain were used as currency, it created a new era of prosperity for the wickedly enterprising. This economic boom resulted in the coffers of hell to be overflowing, which in turn piqued the interest of the most notorious man that sailed the Seven Seas. Long had Blackbeard been a thorn in Satan's side, robbing tax collectors on a semi-regular basis. But the promise of an immeasurable fortune drove him to be even bolder. An arrangement was reached. Blackbeard would provide information on strategic targets in exchange for a share of the profit. Johnny, who was interested in murder, not money, happily agreed. I grant ye the ability to summon my crew whenever they're needed. Right, matey. It's time for your lesson. Let's summon me favorite scurvy riddled hellion, the Imp. Why don't you start off by summoning an Imp to take out those enemies? There you go, matey. Now take down the others. Those little ankle biters are vicious. Now let's practice your aim. Take down the demons on the islands. Things are as rewarding as pressing someone into service, am I right? Now get going! There's a whole wide world waiting to be plundered.
the horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. This is good for the soul. What if they wanted to torture you? Why'd they use the short version of the song? This is the short version. Oh yeah, the wipers on the bus go swish swish swish. The hobo on the bus goes hey hey hey. My mom had like 80 of them. <laughs> Come, let us return to my castle, so we may plot our next steps in proper surrounds. Johnny led Vlad back to his castle, which since his incarceration became a haven for frat parties and squatters. But the systematic impaling of trespassers would have to wait. Vlad was a man of his word, and was eager to provide intel that could aid in hobbling Satan's armies. Bestow upon you the Stygian cold fire. I brought you to this inferno to teach you about the power I have granted you. Cold fire is an aura. Which means you must activate the power and get close to an enemy before they will feel the cold embrace of the Stygian flames. Try it against these demons. Well done. Now here comes a dark inciter. Use your aura and get close to him to take your done it. Doesn't it feel good to watch an enemy burn?
We're standing in a parking garage. I don't like it either, but Centerpool isn't giving us many options. I can't believe they tried to force us out. I can't believe you forgot the mimosas. I think we have bigger problems. I don't think you realize how much I love mimosas. I can't help but notice that people are trying to kill you. Yeah, they're really big on that here. What did you do? Is now really a good time? We can wait until we're done shooting people. Well, I'm great at... Remember when we offered you a deal on that airplane and you responded by killing everyone? Yeah. It's like that, but worse. You should know that Kinsey misses you. Really? That's so sweet. Who's Kinsey? You remember Kinsey. She was that hacker that Matt Miller hated. Isn't she crazy? You know, she really grows on you. You wanna play too? Let's get you two back to Dane. Hooray! After being reunited in Hell, Kiki and Viola wasted no time in doing what they do best. Facilitate the running of businesses. However, the De Winter sisters' success did not sit well with other would-be power players in Hell. The sisters' operations all came under attack at once, forcing them on the run. Soon, the twins found themselves on the receiving end of an offer they couldn't refuse. After all, it was better to own one-fifth of something than to be dead. You helped us? Now let us help you. Here's a little something made popular by another group of sisters, the Gorgons. Dane's letting us use his Ultor training room to test out your Stone Blast power. So go ahead and blast these demons to turn them to stone. After they're petrified, you can use your pistol to shatter them. Who's next? Nice! Stone Blast is especially useful on flying demons like this one. Alright, now let's see you drop a few more. The blast will also take down the shield of a dark insider, leaving it vulnerable. I think you've got the gist of it. All right, let's go. 